and again every time come into those corners just a joy to just tip it in feel the grip feel the way it connects to the track my name's Guy Kesterman and for nearly 25 years I've been a professional bike tester and today I'm at York Sports Village track testing Planet X's Spitfire rim braked race ready titanium bargain bike so Planet X do a range of three titanium rail bikes and the Spitfire as the name suggests is the lightest fastest of them all and it's rim brake which keeps the overall weight of this medium force bike down to 8.4 kilos pretty competitive especially when the whole bike's coming in under two grand and while it's not the lightest choice no carbon for that the ride feel of this titanium really lovely I mean it's always got this sort of fabled spring and forgiveness but not everyone manages that anymore a lot of people overwork the tube sets or oh, just don't really understand what they're doing unfortunately Planet X have been in the titanium game for decades and they've worked with a bunch of manufacturers along the way but they've really got this dialed you've got dual oval triple butted down tube butted C tube as well and then these tapered round over to round rear stays classic stuff but that's because it just really works geometry is actually based off the EC130 the carbon aero bike in their range rivet rider as it's sometimes called so 72.5 degree head relatively steady for a race bike but 73 degree seat angle but it's really low 130 mil head tube so it's not some sit up and beg sportive bike got the hurricane for that this is a proper head down minimal drag race bike and frame weight it's up 1500 grams it's not crazy light we got 400 gram fork so off chassis weight pretty good and the handling is just spot on there's so much grip and predictability in these Jack Brown Panerasa tyres and yet it really smoothly surges out corners lovely bike for ripping around this track that really has got that liveliness and spring which is the reason you buy titanium because so many Thai bikes I've ridden recently like I say they're just overworked so just feels like you might as well have bought aluminium because it's quite a clattery harsh ride but this this has got that still got that real urgency and sort of muscularity that makes titanium worth getting over steel and cost the lighter weight but properly joyful and warm involving to ride and let's not even talk about the mid-price carbon bikes that this is a competitor for some of them are so dead so dull and generic this has got real character and while it's definitely got that warmth and that forgiveness there's no twitch or flutter or worrying flex in that ring reinforced head tube or those mid-sized frame tubes it's still got plenty of purpose when it comes to picking the line and while it's got an impressive turn of speed when you need it to have it's that damped sprung quality over distance that really gives titanium it's kind of cult appeal makes it a proper you know aspirational almost alchemic sort of material and they've done a great job don't be put off by the price here this rides right up there with 
some of the best Thai bikes I've ridden over longer distances. It really is just forgiving, smooth enough. It loves a long haul. And the further you go, the better it feels. And I mean, I'm just outside the circuit here, and it's hardly the Arenberg Trench at Root Bay, but this section of uh, cobbles, this could easily be loosening my teeth, setting up a proper rattle in the bike, but all I'm doing is sitting here thinking, well, I've definitely got an advantage here. Keep the power down, skim along, and when it rises up a bit, it's got a proper kick to it. Still really nice and rewarding when you get the watts down. So what you're getting is a classic, cultured, competition titanium bike for an absolute bargain price. So you've seen me lapping up the ride quality of this Spit Planet X Spitfire here at uh, York Sports Village, but what are the actual details behind how this bike rides? First and foremost, you've got this uh, aerospace grade, titanium frame, triple butted main tubes, so all the major tubes, thinner in the centre, then thicker at the ends, uh, with different wall thicknesses to uh, tune that ride, lose some weight out of there. And it, like I said, this is a Spitfire model, so it's disc braked, and you've not got any mud guards or rack mounts on this bike. So it's a pure race machine. And that means you've got a short 130 mil head tube, 383 mil reach on this medium size with 73 degree seat angle. And a, to be fair, relatively relaxed 72.5 degree head angle. So it's not quite your classic sort of 73 degree parallel uh, race bike, but comes built up with this Selkoff finishing kit and you've got a four, 420 mil bar on there. So, you know, enough leverage for control, but keeps your shoulders nice and narrow for hacking into those headwinds. And again, the geometry is based off the EC130 aero bike. So it's a proper performance geometry. If you want something a bit more uh, upright, a bit more forgiving, then uh, go for the uh, Hurricane, which also comes with disc brake and mudguard bosses. But in terms of performance, this, I mean, it just felt, felt at home on it right away. I mean, rim brakes take some getting used to again. I've been on discs for a long old time. But to be fair, when it's dry and clean like this, Happy days, you know, these forces anchoring up nicely and these fulcrum wheels, again, just a really solid wheel package for the money. And I have to say, I've been really, really impressed with these Jack Brown tires. Uh, 25C, uh, they're made by Panaracer. And I've properly been getting me, you know, properly been getting them over in the dry here at York. And we also rode them in Scotland in absolutely vile conditions uh, over there, Bilak uh, in on uh, Applecross. And I was amazed how well they handled up there because that was about as much as you could ask of a tyre and never had an iffy moment. Uh, back to the frame itself, which is obviously the core of the bike. Uh, you can see there's some really nice detailing. You've got a proper cast head badge there. You've got a ring reinforced head tube, so it takes a tapered fork. And, you know, welding's really nice and neat on there. You've got bottle cage bosses here, bottle cage bosses there. I mean, it is a bolt on uh, front mech mount uh, rather than a brazed on one or welded on one. But obviously that gives you uh, the option to go single speed without getting left with a fin on there. And it's just a really efficient way of doing it. Uh, cable routing is all external, which uh, keeps the bike nice and simple, keeps it light. And like I say, just classic, just detailing like, you know, A-frame bridge for the brakes there. And again, moving around in there, it's just classic sort of oval down to round chain stays. But really neat little cowl dropouts on the end and a nice little replaceable derailleur hanger there. So. You know, add these laser etch details. You've got these, uh, what they call invasion stripes. It's what it's what they put on Allied aircraft for uh, D-Day. Uh, and you've got the little roundel there, you know, to back up this Spitfire model name. And, uh, you know, big Planet X logo is on there, but because it's polished into this uh, laser etch panel, not only you're not going to jet wash it off uh, if you get a bit aggressively cleaning, and this is a bike that's going to last a long, long time. So, you know, it's probably going to see a lot of cleaning and a lot of use over time. You know, you're not going to peel the stickers off because the logo's actually etched into it. And it's just, you know, it's a really, really classy frame. You know, not only does it ride like a proper thoroughbred, it looks great as well. And they've packaged it up with this Selkoff fork, sub 400 gram fork, you know, nice curve and taper to it. Just feels great, you know, really matched well with the handling of the bike. 
I had no problem trusting this, no judder under braking, really good communicative feel, nothing sharp or nasty coming through, but certainly not twangy or vague either. So I have to say the whole bike just hangs together really, really well. Even before you start thinking about the fact that, you know, it's the price of an average carbon model. Get it? And you can get it in Shimano spec or SRAM, or SRAM spec like it is here, or you can get the frame and forks, or you can build it up custom uh, using the vast amount of stock of various things that uh, Planet X have in their warehouse. And there's also a bunch of options in terms of, you know, bar width, stem length, uh, crank length, and, you know, little sort of contact point details, which you can tick and swap just as part of the standard build package as well. So they really have got you covered. And these aren't just bikes out of boxes anyway. I mean, obviously they're an online brand, but these are hand built, hand put together in, a, in their Rotherham workshop by some of Britain's most talented racers and guys who've been putting bikes together for, again, decades in the same way that Planet X have been making titanium bikes for decades. So there really is a vast amount of kind of experience, not only in the design of this bike, but in how every one of them's put together. And they're well on the way to becoming a fully employee-owned company as well, which is very rare in the bike industry. So all the profits and all the decisions being made in the company are now being made by the guys designing and building these bikes. So proper little, you know, community bike brand now. So, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed me just putting some laps in on this bike. Uh, thanks to Planet X for sponsoring the video. Thanks to them for providing uh, Karnak glove and helmets as well. Uh, Gore for the jacket. Uh, Endura for the types. And because I got mixed up, we've got Shimano and Mavic on shoe duty today. But thanks again, thanks to all my Patreon supporters who sponsor the channel and get more in depth, in detailed, exclusive edits through Patreon. And thanks to you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and click for notifications. I've been Guy Kestevan, this has been Guy Kest TV, and this has been Planet X's absolute bargain titanium Spitfire road race bike.